Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, the India's Chief of Air Staff has told that Indian Air Force critical deficiency and the number of fighters, squadrons and force multipliers need to be urgently plugged to ensure the force retains its combat edge. CAS also said that Indian Air Force needed to evolve into an aerospace power by developing the capability to fight and win future wars. India's neighborhood continues to remain volatile and uncertain. Amidst this volatility, we must enhance our collective strength by partnering with nations which share common beliefs and values. We must use our image as a stable country with considerable economic heft to forge mutually beneficial relationships and strategic partnerships. Multi-domain operations and hybrid warfare are here to stay and we must therefore realign and reform to keep pace with technologies to remain relevant. There are certain critical deficiencies like shortage of fighter squadrons and force multipliers which must be addressed on priority to retain our combat edge. In summary, the CAS has flagged the deficiency of fighter jets and force multiplier assets such as AWACS and refuelers. The Air Force currently operates 31 combat squadrons as against optimum 42. Indian Air Force will have around 35 to 36 squadrons by the middle of next decade if the procurement plans if if the procurement plans goes as per schedule. Now, the procurement plan involves 83 LCA Tejas Mark 1A, 6 to 10 squadrons of LCA Mark 2, 7 squadrons of AMCA. Apart from the indigenous fighter jet program, Indian Air Force is also working on procurement of 6 squadrons of MRFA. The deficiency of combat squadron can be compensated to a great extent with the help of force multipliers such as airborne early warning systems and flight refuelers. The Indian Air Force needs minimum 18 airborne early warning platforms to handle two front war situations. However, Indian Air Force currently operates three Netra AEWNC developed on Embraer EMB-145 and three Falcon AVOX developed on Illusion IL-76 platform by Israel Aerospace. On September 2021, the Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared 11,000 crore project for DIDO to develop six new airborne early warning and control aircraft for Indian Air Force. The development of Nitra Mark II, if we consider the happy path, will take at least six more years. The Airbus A320 aircraft is a new platform than the predecessor EMB-145 for DRDO. There will be a lot of structural changes. DRDO will have to handle the development, production of systems, subsystems, integration, qualification, testing and evaluation, as well as delivery and post-delivery support. The 6X Air India A320 are presently being converted and undergoing refitment by the OEM. Once they arrive, DIDO will then install the mission system designed and developed by various Indian agencies to produce the complete AWNC system. Further, due to the classified and protected nature of the mission, it is not possible to send the mission systems to Airbus for installation at their premise and this work will be undertaken by DRDO. Once all system integration is complete, the AWNC will undergo certification from Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification and DGQA to give it clearance for being flight-worthy. Though Airbus A320 is a much powerful platform and nearly three times more powerful than existing EMB-145, its development will be relatively longer. At the same time, if we talk about the repeat order of AWC based on Embraer EMB-145, it does make sense because they can be developed in very short duration. The addition of six more AWNC based on EMB-145 will add nine Netra Mark I to the existing three Falcons, AVOX and six Netra Mark II, taking the total count to 18, which is the right number to handle the two front war scenario. In my opinion, this must be considered by Indian Air Force as they are already struggling with the declining fighting squadron strength. 
द नेक्स्ट फोर्स मल्टीप्लाई इज फ्लाइट रिफ्यूजर एयरक्राफ्ट और एफ आर ए एयर रिफ्यूलिंग इंक्रीजेज द डिप्लॉयमेंट स्पीड बाई एलिमिनेटिंग द एन राउट स्टॉप एयर रिफ्यूलिंग एक्सटेंड द एयरक्राफ्ट रेंज टू द लिमिट ऑफ द एयर क्रू मेकिंग स्ट्रैटेजिक टारगेट्स एक्सेसिबल टू टेक्टिकल एयरक्राफ्ट If Air Force has enough refueler, the fighter jets need not to carry additional drop tanks and can take off with their full weapon payload, delivering their maximum combat power. Indian Air Force is currently operating six Hiroshima IL-78 equipped with Israel fuel transfer system. These refuelers were inducted way back in the year 2003, almost 19 years ago. IL-78 has serious issues with serviceability, which is under 50%. considering the service availability of IL-78 refuelers and two front war situations in the air force need at least six more air refuelers recently we have also reported that HL has entered into a memorandum of understanding with Israel Aerospace Industries to convert civil or passenger aircraft into multi-mission tanker transport aircraft in India the scope of MOU also covers conversion of passenger two fighter aircraft six boeing 767 will be converted from civil to military certification hl will foot a global tender to purchase the second hand boeing 767 from the market the overall process is expected to take at least 3 to 4 more years in addition hl is also working at converting boeing 747 of air india for dedicated cargo role The aircrafts are available with Air India and has been recently pulled out from civilian role as they have completed their 20 years. The feasibility of it is also being ascertained. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.